Howdy y'all, it's been a minute since we've taken a look at Open Auto Pro, this time specifically on version 12, but what I'm gonna be talking about is guiding you through the setup of a Hi-Fi Berry deck, because my biggest issue with Open Auto Pro at the moment is that every time I go to do an update, it just breaks my configuration and I have to sit there for a day and wondering what the hell I did last time to get it all working. So hopefully this is going to be a lot more streamlined. So I'm starting off with a pretty fresh install. The only thing I've done is connect to Wi-Fi, enable uh, VNC, and I'm gonna be connecting through SSH so I can show you guys how to do it on the desktop. So let's go ahead and get to it and let's go ahead and open the VNC. So if you don't know what your IP address is, I would suggest doing it through SSH if possible. You can certainly try to, to, to do it all on locally on the Pi, but we're gonna go return out of here. If you've already connected to the Wi-Fi, it'll list your IP address here. If you don't know what that is still, if, or if you've already closed out of this, you can just type by IF config and that will give you your IP address and this is the one that we're looking at here but yours is obviously going to be different so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that enter that address into whatever tool you're using I'm using kitty but you can use putty or other software I'm going to leave a link in the description to where I got this from enter the IP address you can leave the port default make sure it's on SSH and hit start I already have a profile loaded up so I can just double click that the Username is pi, the password is raspberry. Of course, you can change all this and that will get you there. So back that up. And the first thing we're gonna do is modify the main config file. So let's go ahead and go into sudo nano. I just use nano just because it's built in easy. So we're gonna go into boot config.txt enter and we're going to scroll all the way down and here this is one of the issues that i ran into before that i just couldn't figure out there are different sections for the different kinds of pies that you can use this on so you're going to want to enter this information in the correct section or you can make a new section labeled all and do it there so the first thing we're going to have to enter, I already compiled all this just because I have been having a day of this. I've spent the past 24 hours figuring all this crap out. So enter that. Uh, the problem is that with the newer version of Linux that this is running, you don't want it to read what's on the EEPROM. So that's why we're turning that off. And the overlay, make sure you select the correct one for your board. If you don't know what it is, you can go to the website and it will give you a breakdown of all the different ones but I know that mine is this, is just the DAC plus, so copy. If you're using Kitty, you can copy and then right click to paste. So that's what I'm doing there. And that's really all I need to do. And I'm gonna do Control X to exit, make sure I hit Y to save the buffer and enter to completely write that. And because right now, if you look on the Hi-Fi Berry, there is a green LED that should be lit when it's activated, but right now it's not on. I'm sure not everyone, not every single board has the same location for that light. So just, you know, keep an eye out for anything like that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and restart the Pi. And just to get the ball rolling on that. And let's take a peek while that's coming back up. And hopefully we should be seeing this LED come on here once it starts booting back up. Yep, oh, and there it goes. So that is a great sign. That should mean it's activated. We're gonna verify to make sure that it shows up in the list of devices. So we're just gonna let that go. Finish booting up, but we're gonna go ahead and get this ready. And all of these commands, I'm gonna have listed in the description somewhere or link to a pastebin or something. So once this is done, giving it a couple more seconds, there we go. Can return back to the main Raspbian OS. Let's go. And actually I can just do it in here. Uh, Kitty, the, the great thing about it, if you disconnect and reconnect, all you have to do is click in the window. If it's on the same IP address, it'll just reconnect automatically, which is super nice. So we're going to paste that command in. Oh, I got confused. Let's do copy. And paste, there we go. Press enter, and this will give us a list of all the devices it's finding. 
The top one is the USB audio card I have. That's where I'm gonna connect my microphone because one of the issues that you're gonna run into is by default, it's going to want to send the audio out through there as well. And over here, this is what we're looking for. This is the Hi-Fi Berry DAC. So we're going to want to enter this in a file what we're going to talk about here in a second and make sure that it's set as the master but we just want to make sure that it's listed so that's great now we're going to go ahead and open up another file go ahead here and again i'm just going to use nano just because it's nice and easy and it's going to tell you to go to a specific line the one at least for me on version 12 on a fresh install is line 62 yours could differ or in the future i'm sure it could differ so just keep an eye out for that but if you are on the same version just hold down control and minus and now we're just going to enter 62 press enter and this is the line that we're going to modify that's in the equalizer module section so at the end of the line we're going to add a space to make sure it doesn't conflict with what's already there but what we're going to tell it to do is set the hi fiberry deck to be the master output so that's exactly what we want that's all we have to do and then again control x y to save the buffer enter to fully write that and we're good to go here we're just going to give it one more restart and after this it should be good i'm going to go ahead and hook it up to some speakers i have nearby i'm going to hook that directly into the hi fiberry deck so when it comes back up, we will be ready to go. I already connected my phone to Bluetooth on this. Uh, if you have issues with that, I mean, that's something entirely separate. So I'm not really going to cover that, but this is what I'm going to be doing here shortly. Okay, we are connected again. And I'm just going to make sure that my phone is connected through Bluetooth. Okay, it's connected right there. And we're just going to play something and keep an ear out to see if we can hear it on the speakers. And sure enough, immediately we're hearing it through the speakers. Oh, I'm going to pause that before I get into trouble. But that's all you have to do. Now the default output is going to be that Hi-Fi Berry DAC. You can still use the USB audio card to connect a microphone. And that's, you know, its own sort of... Uh, topic i don't think you're going to have issues with that this is the main roadblock that i was running into the main thing is that this just kind of sucks to have to do every single time especially when i was trying to do it in the car using the on-screen keyboard it's just really finicky it's just time consuming and i wish there was some way during the update process to tell it not to mess with any of that stuff unless there were some significant changes to the audio but anyway if you are interested in Open Auto Pro, feel free to check it out. I'll have links in the description. I'll have a coupon code in the description if you want to support me. And uh, if any of this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. That's about it for me. It's been a long day. See ya.